Our school. Our community. Our home. The Warrior News starts right now. Key Club will be having its first meeting of the year in room 316 after school starting at 2.15 on Thursday, September 16th. In the first meeting, all new members will be given information about the club's community service events, potential new plans for the year, and officer questionnaire forms. Any eager participants should reach out to Mr. Potticar and or Mr. Graffius for details. Thanks. Parking. All students can pick up a parking pass application in the main office. Any cars parked in the student parking lot must have a parking permit. Parking permits cost $2. Senior information sheets. All seniors m must fill out a, a senior information sheet and return it to Mrs. Chateau in the main office or your first period teacher. Forms are due on I-17-2021. Any students that picked up their new Chromebook and did not return their old charger, please turn that into the main office ASAP. Our first meeting of the GSA, which stands for Gender and Sexuality Alliance, is coming up very soon. Please join us this Friday, September 17th at 7 a.m. in the library. All are welcome. See Mrs. Brown with any questions. We can't wait to get to know our newest members. If you would like to join volleyball or international club, please stop by in room 306 to get the Google Classroom join code for meeting announcements. Weightlifting club will be meeting from 2.15 to 3.15 Monday through Thursdays at the weight room. If you are interested, you can see Mr. Schaefer in room 304 or just stop down at the weight room to sign up. All are welcome. There will be a Wilson Buddies officer meeting this Thursday at 7 a.m. in room 101. Our first General Wilson Buddies meeting will be held next Thursday, September 23rd, 7 a.m. in room 101. All are welcome. Starting Monday, September 20th, Wilson Basketball will be holding open gym for girls on Mondays and Wednesdays at the high school gym from 6 to 7.30. Practice is open to any girls grades 7 to 12. Starting on Tuesday, September 21st, Wilson Basketball will be holding open gym for boys on Tuesday and Thursdays at the high school gym from 6 to 8. Practice is open to any boys grades 9 to 12. Attention all student drivers. For after school activity, please use the back row closest to the football stadium when parking in the big lot. The marching band will be practicing in the front three rows. If there is absolutely no space left in the back row, Please park in the spot closest to the Sky Bridge slash Athletic Park. Thank you. Any students who would like to join the newspaper club and write for the school newspaper should attend the meeting on Thursday, September 16th at 2.05 in room 212. All students are welcome. The first hallway decorating meeting for juniors will be Wednesday 9.22 at both 7.10 and 2.10 in the room 206. There are two different meeting times to try to accommodate everyone's schedules. Hopefully, you'll be able to attend one of the meetings. Boys soccer senior players, please remember to return your senior recognition day information by Thursday, September 16th, so that your bio information will appear on the announcer's sheet on senior day. Winter sports physicals and recertifications will be accepted starting 9-20-21. If you play a fall sport, you need to turn in a recertification form to play a winter sport. If you do not play a fall sport and have already turned a PIAA physical form, you must get a physical before you can participate in winter sports. F physical recertification forms in the main office or nurse's office or the school district's website. To ensure you are ready to participate in tryouts and for the first day of practice, please get your form in the processing before October 11. Forms turned in after this date may need additional time for processing. This means it could take several days before you are eligible to participate. Speaking of sports, let's take a look at this year's cross country team. Looking forward to uh, seeing what everyone has. We have some returning runners. We have a lot of new runners as well. Um, definitely looking forward to letting everyone participate. We, uh, we made it through last season um, really well. All the runners uh, did 
did a great job of mixing in when they could run, uh, when they took some breaks, and it really panned out well. Um, but this year, it's great that we can get the full squad out there every single meet um, and running and bettering themselves and their times. Well, Notre Dame is always tough, and uh, being our rival, we'll, we'll hopefully give them a run for their money. Um, but Southern Lehigh is probably the toughest team out there, both boys and girls. They've been, uh, been really, really deep and real strong for the past few years, and I know that they'll, they'll be another tough one this year. Um, I have high expectations for the team this year. We have a lot of guys who are finally starting to show their potential. A really solid top five and a top seven, so I think we're going to win a lot of races and uh, do some good things. I always look for a challenge, but I also like me some flat courses, so I guess my challenge course would be our home course at Williams Township. And the course I'm really looking forward to is running at uh, Bicentennial Park. Um, I think it's a lot of work ethic and encouragement. Like at the end of a hard workout or midway through a rep, I'll get a fist bump. It really pushes me to go the extra mile. And during races, seeing teammates struggling, trying to pick them up on the course, it really helps. Um, just that little boost of seeing a teammate on a course, uh, being able to run with them, catch the rest of the pack, um, it really helps push me to the next limit. So I'm looking forward to being able to hang out with all the girls and get to like get to know everyone and run with everyone during the races. And it's honestly just really fun to just be around everyone and run and work out with them. So I want to be able to meet my own goals, whether it's like a time or like who I'm running with during races and stuff, which my times could be like 21 minutes or like whatever, who I want to run with, like that I do normally in races and stuff. And I want to be able to be like one of the top runners, which it's hard to have to keep working. I really like Coach Brown as a coach. I think he's really nice and he pushes you a lot and he's there to support you with whatever you want to do. That's all we have for you today, Wilson. Make sure to follow us on YouTube at Warrior News 15 to keep up to date with the latest from us. I'm Chase R. Have a great day, Wilson.